Hey, thank you for tuning in to your review channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So this is all about Apple HomeKit, how to hook up your MISA device. I'm just going to pretty much talk about the, the way to hook it up and also the way it actually interacts with the thermostat. I like it. Let's get into the video. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another episode of your review channel. Today we're talking about the MISA uh, thermostat. This is a wireless Wi-Fi thermostat. It's an electric thermostat. And if you haven't seen my video, I'll leave a link on top where you can see where you can purchase this and how to install it. So if you're looking, if you have electric heat in your house and you need a thermostat, this is probably the, one of the best ones on the market. So that's, as far as that's being uh, said, that's very, very important. Uh, nice quality thermostat, works well. Check out the review up top. Uh, but this is all about Apple Home device. Um, so if you have a Wi-Fi thermostat, so typically, uh, for the Miser especially, you have to go to the Miser app. Okay, and I'll just give you an example here. You go to the Miser app, okay, and you can see here. So what happens when you go to the Miser app and you try to control the Miser device, which it does work well, but you got to realize you're going through your phone into your wireless, uh, to your router, okay? Um, you're, you're connecting to their server, which in return communicates back to your router and sends a signal to the thermostat. With, so that's typically how this works, and that's you know pretty much typically for most uh, Wi-Fi uh, thermostat devices. Uh, now with Apple HomeKit, basically you can hook up your MISA and most compatible thermostats. Not a lot of them out there, but they're coming out more and more. So let's go here, and let's click on the Apple Home, okay? So what, what I ended up doing was, um, actually when I went to my MISA thermostat device, it basically told me that you can connect to your to Apple Home Kit. Uh, so I said, like, all right, cool. So I said, connect it, and it did it. And actually, this works so much better. So if you have a MISA and you have Home Kit, which is pretty much installed in every iOS, the Apple iOS device, you can control the MISA thermostat, and it's instantly responsive because it's basically using the communication between the, the thermostat and the phone directly. Um, it is super fast, super quick. So I'll give you an example. So here we are here, we're connected. Uh, and just, just, just so you know, so if you don't get a notification to connect, all you have to do is scan the QR code in the back of your box. You'll get a QR code in the back and I'll give you an idea. So when you go to um, the accessories here, you just click on the ad, well, well that's not, uh, you click on here. Okay, um, and you're in here, you just hit the add button and then you see it says add accessory, click on add accessory. And you can see here it says there's a QR code bar code that comes up here, a scanner basically. So you just pretty much scan the QR code um, and it basically sets up the device directly to Apple HomePod. I keep calling it Apple HomePod, HomeKit. <laughs> He's connected to Apple HomeKit. There's so much going on today. Um, and it'll actually uh, connect it directly to the Apple HomeKit. And that's how that works. So it's very easy. Two ways to do it: either it'll send you a notification, it'll set it'll set you up automatically, or you can scan the the QR code on your device, and it'll hook up to Apple Home Kit. Okay, so now I got that straight. Uh, so I'll give you an example here. So you click on the your, your room here, and you can see it knows it's off. Okay, instantly, just like that, right? I want to put heat on. Boom! It already already connected. It knows it's 70 degrees, right? Now here it is. Now watch how fast this is, right? 76. Bam. Okay, it already did it. 80, bam. It went to 80. See it? See it right there? Like instantly. It went to 80 degrees. And now it's the room temperature is 71. That's what it's telling me. Okay, I can hear the heat running already. Okay, watch this, all right? 83. Bam. 83. It is almost instantaneous. It is so quick. You get it. Um, it's unbelievable. Watch this. 70. 70. Bam. Just like that. Okay. Uh, this doesn't have a cool mode because this is just a, a heating thermostat and that's an electric heating thermostat. Like I said, I'll leave a link above it. You can see that. And also you can control the the um, the screen itself. You can make it dimmer. You can see that. See? You can make it dimmer. You can make it brighter. Okay. And that's cool. So you can control that and shut it off. Instantly shuts it off. Bam. It shuts it off. So this thing is awesome. This thing I definitely recommend you, you know, definitely you, every, everybody who has an iOS device has this installed uh, in their phone automatically and you can just basically hook it up, either scan the QR code or it'll come up um, in the device automatically. Mine, mine just came up and says, uh, my show just said to me, uh, you have Apple Home available, Home Kit available to hook up. Would you want to do it? I said, sure. It did it and instantly, it instantly connected. This is a great, great idea. You guys should do this. 
connect your Apple HomeKit device to your MISA. It works instantaneously, um, and it, if you're local in your house, it works perfectly. Um, to, work, to work this outside your home, you have to have a Apple Home Hub. Um, so basically what that means, any home device that you have, either an iPad or if you leave your phone home or an Apple, any Apple device, if computer's on, so you could actually make that a hub. It'll con So basically it'll communicate directly to that computer and tell the computer to turn your device on and off, and it works that way as well. Uh, and there's tons of information about there online, but I really just wanted to bring this to your attention, how to use uh, this Apple Home Kit. It's really kind of cool, Apple Home whatever. It just works great um, with the wireless device because I always noticed in the past that it's always doesn't connect all the time, it's slow, it doesn't always work, and that's annoying. So here's an example. So I'm actually on the app itself, okay? Uh, so say I want to turn the heat on. So it's got a lot better. So I just turned the heat on just now. Well, let's see. Finally, okay, there's a check mark. See it? That took a long, that took a quite a while. Let's turn this up to 75, 76. Let's see how long that takes. Okay, 76, 80. All right, it's a lot better now. Actually, they did a lot of firmware updates with this. So this is working a lot better than it did, but it's working just as well with, with the home kit. And I like it. It's much easier to read, uh, much easier to control. Heat off. And there's a check mark. All right, so it's like I said, it is a little bit slower. Um, the other the other device is a lot faster and a lot easier to read, a lot cleaner in my opinion. So tell me what you think. Any questions or comments, leave down below. Tell me what you think. I think this looks much easier. The interface is much easier to understand, much easier to read. So any questions or comments, leave below. I appreciate you tuning in. This is just a quick update on the MISA, um, basically with, with Apple HomeKit and how to hook it up and how it works and how it looks. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you learned a little quick thing about the Apple Home device and also if you have MISA, um, hook them together. I think this is a much better solution and much easier to use. All right, guys, any questions, leave down below. Don't forget to like share and also please subscribe it really does help me quite a bit as well all right guys that's it for me and i'll see you at the next review